Hey everyone, I'm just um, going to show you what I've found with the diversity antenna. Right now, my car does not work via the fob and comfort access does not work either. I can't lock and open the car. Um, so I'm going to show you how I found out that my diversity t antenna was damaged. Okay, so I've removed the, the um, rear spoiler from the car. I have um, removed the diversity antenna. I then took the case off the top. Uh, I've then screwed it back down. The um, two nuts that are there, they uh, are how the unit module earths to the vehicle. Um, so I've connected up my multimeter via a um, crocodile clip there, and then that's just on one of the nuts. So um, I'm going to show you the voltages now, the, the, uh, the battery's on. So the first wire, that is um, a blue and red, that shows 12 volts almost. The second wire, that is uh, blue-yellow, that shows 2 volts. Uh, the fourth wire, that shows 5. And then the last wire shows 0. But if I am to push on here and just activate the car, kind of wake the car up if you like, um, what happens is that I now get 12 volts on that last wire, which is the, the red and black. Okay, so I've now swapped to a known working unit. This is from an E70. Um, connected it to ground in the same way with the crocodile clip. And let's just go through the voltages here. So the first wire is reading uh, almost 12 volts. The second wire is reading almost five. Fourth is reading almost five. And the last one is reading zero. If I just activate the car here, you can hear it. And this is now reading close to 12 volts. Um, so what we can conclude is that second wire, which is the blue-yellow one, um, is reading low voltage. Now, if you follow the track of that into the board, it actually goes to one of these two chips here. Um, so I think what happened is water got in the system, uh, it shorted out, fried one of these chips, and that's why I've got low voltage on that wire uh, with the faulty unit. 